Good morning and welcome to the first day of class, fellow health nuts. Just kidding. Nutrition nuts. Health and wellness and nutrition nuts. Just kidding. So want to start one thing off by saying you're officially a Panther. Uh, that is a Drury University Panther. This is a dual enrollment course. So you're getting the high school credit as well as the college credit. The class is no different than it was when, uh, if you've taken it or heard, uh, of course, if you've taken it with Joe Ham, then you have not taken it with me. But uh, now it is dual credit. Uh, the course is basically her course, and from St. Louis, Miss Elizabeth Bennett, they put these uh, this course together uh, with minor tweaks and organization on my part. Um, you'll see that this class is generally the same class. Uh, so no fear about it being dual enrollment. It's the same class. It's not going to be a research paper, uh, nothing any more major uh, than the kind of work. Um, I'm just scrolling here so you can see some of the topics. You won't see details of this course uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. It will be rolled out for you. So today, day one, uh, hopefully you've already seen, you go to class work. Uh, and you have flip grid topics right here and this is where you leave a little introduction I left uh, kind of a cheesy silly one when I was practicing maybe I'll update it and maybe I'll leave it but anyway this video that I'm speaking of is right here or will be shortly depending on when you access this site um, and all it will be is telling you about this flip grid and the video that's there so week one day one day two day three day four uh, these should have been scheduled to open up on those respective days, so my apologies, but you probably like it better that you can see what you're going to be doing. Uh, you don't need to jump on these right away. So today is a fairly soft start. Um, so let me just go through what day one turn in is, health patterns and research. So you're going to click on the doc here and just follow the instructions to complete. So what you will do is you click on that. And it's just to get an idea. Some of you might keep up with trends in health and nutrition and fitness, and maybe you don't. Uh, and so in either case, you're just going to try to catch up. And we're going to do this assignment from the perspective of kind of like the scientific method, the way we, the way we sh would think as citizens, you know. You hear of something. You have a question about it. Is that true? And you do a little bit of research to find out, you know, who's saying what. And you kind of weigh the sources and you form an opinion based on what you read. Some people are better at convincing and, and for some reason our brains will click on to one piece of writing and say, yeah, this sounds true to me. No, you're just trying to say this, that or earn money or whatever it is. You get the idea. This is the way our brain works. So the assignment today, the opening assignment, like I said, is just health patterns and research. So you're going to think about some kind of health trend. Now it's going to be hard to navigate around COVID-19 because clearly that's blown up all over. That's a major trend. And if you want to focus on that, you can. But um, what I'm talking about is more, as you can see here, rising rates of cancer, uh, STDs. Um, there are a lot of things, whether it be about, uh, usually if it's like in January or February, you find a lot about weight loss and fitness. Uh, those are still out there and fad diets. Uh, but also, you know, controversies that have been such as butter versus margarine. Uh, you know, which one's better, which one's not. Sugar substitutes. Um, we've all heard things that are good and bad. So we're just looking about basic health patterns. Yoga, Zumba, uh, if you want to focus on an exercise trend, um, you know, which are the best. So free part, mental health. There's another one. Uh, you can look at mental health trends. Psychology Today says this. This journal says that. You just have to kind of sit back and think, okay, what generally within that realm interests you? You know, um, don't pick one just to pick one. Make it personal and you'll enjoy this assignment a little better and you'll do better at it. So you're going to kind of go through. You can even just Google trends in health, uh, trends in health patterns. And you'll probably get several hits. Uh, you might pick a page two or a three trend. So list that trend here. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Sorry. Let's rewind. So first you'll go to file, make a copy. And on that new copy, it'll pop open just like this. Takes a matter of 10 to 30 seconds, depending on your internet. And retitle it up here with your last name. 
And when you're done, you will click share up here in the right corner and you put my email in there, of course. I had that on the first video you should have watched already, but just to remind you, that's how you do this assignment. So again, file, make a copy. Once it's done, it'll say copy of, and you can put your, uh, you can keep that title if you like, and then put your last name or first and last name. When you're done filling out this, you can share it with me. All right, and that'll be the assignment. That's all we're doing today. Uh, and I'll make, uh, trend. Predict what do you think is the cause of this trend before you know anything about it, before you research anything about it. What do you think is the cause of this trend? Why are people jumping on this bandwagon? Why is medicine all of a sudden, you know, promoting X, Y, or Z? Uh, then hypothesize before you research, how do you think the trend will continue? Is it going to last uh, another year, another month? Is it going to continue to go up indefinitely? Not sure. Um, when I say remember phrases as something you can test, uh, this is a pretty loose statement. I mean, don't get bogged down in what do I mean test. Um, an opinion that you can actually, well, if I think it'll be, you know, I think this trend will continue probably for the rest of this year, it'll die out because people are going to find out that it causes X, Y, or Z. And so smoking, let's say vapor, uh, you can tell I do it, vaping. Um, you know, I think, well, this is a trend. I think it's going to last and I think it's going to continue to increase for the next 20 years. Why? Well, we can measure the number of sales. This is how you can test it. Um, we can measure the number of sales every year uh, for certain age groups and we'll be able to know if it really has increased or decreased. You see, so all you had to do to, hy uh, to hypothesize was I think it'll be, you know, continue to increase for 20 years because. Uh, it's addicting, or people love it, or the smell is great, the taste is great, satisfaction, you know, whatever. But it's testable because we can measure the amount of cells. Um, so now go ahead and get on, do your research, get on Google or whatever you like to use, and research information about that health trend. Uh, read at least two, and uh, I would recommend three or four articles or something. So you have. Uh, various perspectives from which to draw, various opinions from which to draw. And what is the proposed cause of the trend? How likely is it change in the future? Anyway, just answer those questions in best you can. Pretty open. I mean, if, if your trend doesn't fit perfectly into one of these questions, you know, just do the best you can. Uh, all right. So it's just becoming familiar. What I want uh, then is I'll probably share out uh, or have you share out some of the things you found. So I think we could really learn a lot from each other. Uh, this is one thing that, you know, in the classroom I do a lot is just discussion so everybody can hear everyone else's ideas. So we're going to work on a way to do that and that's for the most part what Flipgrid is going to be for so we can get on and share the things you've learned. So I'll be opening up uh, one for that. But this is what we'll be using to take attendance today. So you have till midnight tonight to complete this. It should probably take you 75 minutes. Now, aside from that, what I want to say is it, uh, I will be available Monday, March 30th. That's today. And I'm going to be available from 2.45 to 3.15. You can email me before then if you like. If you have questions, of course, I'm here. But I'm going to be on a Zoom session. It is live. You can interact with me right here face-to-face -face from 2.45 to 3.15. And I will be putting the announcement here in the class uh, on the stream you'll see it and it'll have a link and you'll just click on that link you'll go through a quick download that takes about five seconds ten seconds and you'll be able to see me we'll be able to talk face to face if you have a smartphone or uh, well if you have a smartphone you're doing it from a smartphone you'll need to download an app and it's called zoom I believe you've already heard about this but if not Z O O M that's it you can find zoom download it You'll be directed to download it once uh, you click on that link if you're using your phone. So we try to pick really good and easy technology that allow us to have this interaction. So if you have questions about anything, I'll be open. And at that time, I would assume you might ask questions about the Drury University. So uh, I'll need to catch up to speed with some of you to see where you're at in the application process. There was just an initial application, which was basically a personal information. 
and that was the first email and uh, that they received it. And then there'll be a second email that comes three to five days later and you'll go through more steps to register. So I wanna, we'll have to kind of walk through that with some of you, uh, I believe. Okay, uh, that's all I have for this morning. Welcome to 2020. Term four. I'm thinking there's nothing else. All right, bye-bye now.